you say you want commitment from him. And what I'm trying to say to you is when people show you who they are, believe them. If you want to be single, then just be single. And if you want to be in a committed relationship, choose someone who's not going to cheat. Here is today's case. I'm a celebrity barber, rapper. A lot of people know me around the city. Female friends, business partners, so you say, um... Please welcome to the courtroom today, reality star from Love and Hip Hop Miami, Nikki Natural. So. Was he trying to ask you out? Yeah. If I was a bumper car, he definitely would hit me. Well, sometimes, you know, I, like, you know, I get caught up. It's nonstop. It's like really er every day. Well, this is who you chose to date. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, for the first time on Divorce Court, we have a virtual audience and is filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Maria from Johns Creek, Georgia. Maria, welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you with us today. Your Honor, today's case is Sherman versus Whitaker. Thank you, Juan. Shauna Sherman? Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Toy Whitaker. Yes, Your Honor. To court today. The two of you have been together for a year, yes. currently living together. He gave you a promise ring three or four months ago, but you say the promises have been broken. <sighs> and that's why you're in divorce court. You want to talk about it today? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'll start with you, ma'am. Why don't you give me some background? Me and my boyfriend, Toy Whitaker, uh, we've been together for about a year, and I love him. He's like super sweet, but. Uh, the women, it's like so many women. Uh, it kind of makes me uncomfortable. He kind of makes me feel like uh, I'm invisible, like when the women are around. He has a lot of female friends. Is he that has what a you're lot saying? of female friends, business partners. So you say, um, I just. Why do you I put business partners in air quotes? Toy, it's like we're anywhere we go. Like we could be out shopping. Women, they walk up to him all the time. They're like, Oh, hey, Toy, how are you? And they'll just reach in for a hug. And, like, I could be standing there and I'm just sitting there looking like, okay, wow, who is this? Like... Mm -hmm. You're starting to question what's really going I'm, on I'm because really of the number of women yeah, friends he a, has? It's, it's nonstop. It's, like, every day. What's going All on, day. Mr. Whitaker? Why are you so popular? Well, uh, Your Honor, my name is uh, Super the Barber. I'm a celebrity barber, rapper. So a lot of people know me around the city. What city? Uh, Jacksonville, <laughs> Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm always out and about, networking. I go to a lot of clubs. But my girlfriend... Shayna, she's so insecure, oh, cool. and she's always, like, thinking the most, thinking I'm doing this and that. When but it's really just, just relationships, just professional relationships, yeah, you're professional. saying. Yeah, I'm really not building my brand. Mm -hmm. yeah, How did like, the two of you name. meet? Your Honor, uh, about a year ago, I was shopping. I was out shopping. I was in a uh, store with my boys, and Toy, he walks up to me, and he gives me, like, his business card. He explains, oh, I'm a barber. He's, like, all smooth. I'm a barber, you know, I cut rod, wave hair, I'm a celebrity barber. He had to throw that in there. Just take my card. So I took his business card, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, well, I have two sons. Like, this is great. You can mm -hmm. cut their hair. They need a new barber anyway, mm -hmm. so. He approached you networking, mm -hmm. so to speak, he was, right? He was networking. And that's been in the back of your mind the entire time. It has. When you see him engaging with other women? Mm -hmm. Yes. You say he has a great personality, so it would be understandable that he has a lot of friends. Is there anything in particular that you've seen that you think is inappropriate. Oh, one time we're out grocery shopping. <laughs> we're just going down our aisles and throwing stuff in the basket, and this woman, she just walks up. She's like, hey, Toy! Mind you, we're just grocery shopping, like, so I have on, like, tennis shoes, my sweatpants, my hair's back in a ponytail, so I'm not looking like much of anything. Here comes this woman. She has big breasts, and, you know, she's stacked like a... <laughs> <laughs> like a brick house, and she's like, she just leans in for a hug. She's like, Toy, it's so nice to see you. And he doesn't make it any better. He doesn't stop and say, hey, wait, this is my girlfriend, mm -hmm. Shayna. I would like you to meet her. He just, oh, hey, how you doing? How are the kids? And I'm just like, are you serious but right now? But what do you now? say like... he did wrong? Because if she had not been stacked, would you have been as offended? I would in have, the, in the because situation? she just reached in for a hug and, like, it was cool. Like, she seen me, like, walking with him. But is there he anything wrong with, with that? Or is it the fact that he didn't introduce you He didn't introduce girl? me. He didn't Who introduce she? me at all. I didn't remember where I knew her from. Because okay. she came up and she was like, it was so, she got so excited. Like, hey, Toy, Super the Barber, it's, it's good to see you. And she just went for a hug. So I was just like, I just gave a hug. But I'm trying to think, like, where do I really know her from? 
So in the moment, you're saying you didn't think to make an introduction because you really didn't know her like yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't know. I was trying to think of like, do I, do I used to cut her son's hair? It happens that, all the time. He's yeah, so funny. Did she, did she he's follow me? Friendly. But, but you say... He has say, so much energy and stuff when it comes to these other women. He's just like hugging them. That's how you met like, him. Do you have to hug... That, that's how you met him. That's, Networking. See, giving out his business out. card. <laughs> so he liked you and he picked you. What do you think? Because in this scenario, I don't find that he really did anything wrong. But you say he's getting text messages, phone calls in the <laughs> middle of the night. Now, what is that about? He doesn't have a cutoff time. He doesn't set any boundaries. Like, he's supposed to be, like, networking and these are business What are they texting him partners. about? Have you looked at the text message? Uh, this particular time, uh, his phone goes off um, at 3 a.m. He jumps out of bed. And he's, like, texting. I'm like, oh, who are you texting now? He's like... Oh, uh, this is... I'm getting so tired of this, so I, like, snatched the phone this time. I was, like, so mad. I snatched the phone. And, um, I read a message. The girl's like, oh, hey. Hey, Toy, how are you? I seen your story on Instagram. That was great. And he's like... He replies, he's like, thanks, love, with a smiley face. Like, okay. are you saying thanks, love? Like, who is this? And oh, that's just my homegirl. So who was she? Well, you know, uh, you're on, I'm a big networker. So oh, 24-7. You know. Whether it's a club, whether it's a strip club. Even at 3 o'clock in the morning when you get a text message, Even you don't network? So I'm going to tell you how it was. Okay, so sometimes people be leaving the club. It could be a dude, a female. A lot of times they probably like, where you at, super? Why you ain't come to the club? Or are you on your way? So I'm kind of like the life of the party. Mm -hmm. So they trying to see, the am I coming out? You know what I'm talking about? One time in the strip club, there was a popular stripper. She came to my VIP section, started giving me a lot then. I, I just don't trust it. You don't trust don't. it. So when you were tapping like, on her body, you charging that to your work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. Well, I, when it's I a part of the job. It's a tough job. Somebody got to do it, Your Honor. You've been in this line of work, I'm assuming, like more than a year being super barber? Yeah. yeah and that's, yeah. you met him? That's how you met him? He was being super when he approached you yeah, and networked with you. Yeah. He's, he's good at what so he does. So he's always been navigating this space, I'm assuming? He yeah. has. So would you like him to only receive messages and, and phone calls between 9 and 5 p.m.? I would that make like you feel I feel like he should better? have a business phone if there's if that much business going mm -hmm. on, being conducted. Like, you should have a business phone. Like, every, a separate these phone women, they just have, for business. Yes. They, he should have, would that really uh, make you happy that would if he make had me a separate happy. phone? These women, they could call him at any time, like... Just no cut off. I don't think a separate phone would satisfy you in this situation. I think that you just don't... I think he probably is popular, and I don't think you like the fact that he is so popular because it makes... He gets a lot of attention. I hope hair is all he's cutting. Like, <laughs> That's so. why I asked you, Miss Sherman, if you thought that there was anything else going on based on anything that you've observed, and I just don't see it... <sighs> I, I just don't trust it. You don't trust don't. it. She was like uh, some big Instagram model, like... Oh. That's what bothers you. Mm -hmm. Here's what I think the issue is. The woman who approached him in the store, you said she was stacked, mm -hmm. and you immediately went to describe how you looked. Mm -hmm. So, for some reason, in that moment, you felt insecure mm -hmm. about the situation. And then the woman who texted him is an Instagram model. Mm -hmm. Somehow you are inferring that what she's popular, that she has a certain look about her, and that maybe you're concerned because he's interacting with these women mm -hmm. that he prefers them over you? Is that what it is? Well, it's just, uh, that's not the only situation. Like I said, it's, it's nonstop. It's like really er every day. Well, this There's... is who you chose to date. Mm -hmm. You chose to date someone who is out and about in the streets networking. And I know a lot of people they can't handle relationships with men who have a lot of women friends. If you can't, this might not be the relationship for you. Now, Mr. Whitaker, I'm going to ask you, is there yes, anything no. going on with these women that you're interacting with? Well, uh, one time in the strip club... Tell the whole truth. Yeah. And so, but it was one time, you know what I'm saying, there was a popular stripper, and, uh, and she wanted to get some of my clout. So she came to my VIP section... Started giving me a lot then. Mm. You know, I said, I ain't gonna lie, Yana. I slapped on the butt a couple times. Mm -hmm. You know, made a jig, made a jiggle or wiggle or whatever wow. like that, though. That's... So we, we followed each other on Instagram, but it's my R. Like, mm -hmm. all the guys, I want all the guys there to say, Super the Barber, he that dude. I wanna be just like him. Mm -hmm. And I do want the women to be like, Man, I want him, I want a guy like that. Mm -hmm. wow. And that's all to build my brand. So that's to build your brand, but what about your relationship? How do you think this is going to impact 
your relationship when you decide to be in a committed relationship? Well, Your Honor, I go home to her. I mean, I'm not taking none of these Instagram models, none of these strippers. I'm leaving the right where they at. We follow each other on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know, we shot each other out, share videos on each other's story. Mm -hmm. So more people will follow each one of us, so we'll build our brand. But I'm going home to my baby. So when you were tapping Thanks. on her body, you charging that to your work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. Well, I, when it's I part of the on, job. Yeah, I mean, the tough job, but somebody has to do it. Yeah, it's a hard. Yeah, they, there you go, Your Honor. And, and I, I tell them, I say I have a girlfriend, so it's nothing else. But it's just, it's just for show. When mm -hmm. I'm out in the club, strip club, I, I got some celebrity friends. I mean, like just like from the show, loving hip hop. I got a good friend of mine, Nick and Natural. Mm -hmm. I met her in the club. Several other cast members. And so me and her. Hang out a lot. We uh, do videos together. So this is all about the work, is what the you're work. saying. It's a tough job. Somebody got to do it, young. Who is this a photo of? Wow. Oh, that's Nikki Natural, my friend. So you asked Nikki Natural from Love and Hip Hop Miami to come to court today. So when I first met him, he was like really into me. How flirtatious he was. I didn't. I didn't expect him to have a girl. Mm -hmm. He didn't mention a girl at all. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Who is this a photo of? Wow. Oh, that's Nikki Natch, my friend. And, and where are the two of you His at friend. here? We was at a, a club. She had a, a party at the club. I, she invited me. So I came to support her. Like Do you ever take me? your girlfriend when you go to these events, sir? Well, uh, no, not a lot of times. She's more like a homebody. You huh. know what I'm saying? She got to be cooking and uh. taking care of the house. So when I come home, I have yeah. some good food to eat. Really? So her place is in the kitchen? Well, sometimes I take her out, but just not to those events because I don't want her getting. Feeling insecure. Ms. Sherman, have you been invited to any of these networking events? I haven't. No, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Mr. Whitaker, I understand you have a witness oh, today. Yeah. So you asked Nikki Natural to come to court today. Yes. I want to have a witness just showing that when I'm out, it's all about business, it's about networking, and I'm actually building and going high, to higher heights. Please yeah. welcome to the courtroom today, female rap artist and reality star from Love and Hip Hop Miami, Nikki Natural. Juan, would you please bring in the witness? Absolutely. You're gonna stand over here. Okay. Ms. Natural, thank you for being here. Thank you. It's so good to see you. You too. Ms. Natural, I understand <laughs> you live in Florida as well. Florida, yes. And you have had the opportunity to meet Mr. Whitaker on several occasions nice. and you. make his acquaintance. Yes. But you're really here today to tell us about what's going on in the industry and in the scene. And you, you heard his testimony prior to coming in court. A, a, a small amount, yeah. Okay, well, why don't you explain to me what, what's happening here? I mean, Suba is, is very flirtatious. Oh, he is? Yes, he is. And I honestly did not know he had a girl. Really? I met him on set, Love and Hip Hop. Um, and he bought me some mm. food. <laughs> some oxtails, you remember? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so you've known him over the course of the last eight months. Mm -hmm. You've had a chance to see him out and about. You never knew he had a girlfriend. Are you surprised to learn this information in court? Honestly, today? very surprised. Really? Oh, Why wow. is that? What have you witnessed, ma'am? Because when I first met him on set at um, our filming, he was, like, really into me. Like, I, I, didn't, I wouldn't expect someone how flirtatious he was. I didn't, I didn't expect him to have a girl. Mm -hmm. He didn't mention a girl at all. So... Was he trying to ask you out on a date? Yeah. <laughs> like, sh just, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Really? Definitely did not. If I was a bumper car, he definitely would hit me. Mr. Whitaker, this oh. was your, this is your witness today, sir? Uh, yeah. You asked Miss Natural to come to court? Yeah. She is not helping your case. And honestly, I have another friend that he was on her dating show and he was on the show trying to date her. So, oh, so I definitely did not know about... Um, Master Cutter. Mr. Whitaker. He... Yes, Your Honor. Well, this man... I, you well, thought Miss Natural was gonna come on and, and, and testify about something else today? Uh, Some generalities? So she's been very specific about how she knows you and her interactions with you. Well, sometimes, you know, like, you know I get caught up. It's like, it's the difference between Toy Whitaker and Super the Barber. Oh. When I'm in the whole... Oh, so it's two of y'all. It's kind of like Clark Kent. Who, who's in court today? Uh, Super the Barber. Well, basically, it's like, I get caught up in the whole promoting and networking. 
So if you, a lot of times... Sounds let, like you getting caught up in looking for some dates. Well, it's like... Sometimes when you, you can't let nobody know that you got a girl in this industry, because it then it seems like you off the market and you reserved, you can't do certain things. Mm. So, you agree with that, Miss Natural? Definitely agree. I mean, if we were like somebody higher of caliber, it's like, oh, I want to be like that couple. But when you're new into the game, like me and Super, like I'm a new artist, a rap artist, and it's like everybody want to know who you are, but they don't, they don't want you coming to the game with a, a, in a relationship. It's like, uh, whatever. She's locked down already. So I understand where he's coming from with that. Okay. Thank you, Miss Natural. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty today. Definitely. I appreciate your testimony. Juan, would you see the witness out? Okay. Thank you. <laughs>